A few days ago, men in balaclavas turned up at the synagogue in, uh, in Donetsk um, and started distributing leaflets. We managed to get hold of a CCTV footage um, outside the synagogue and it shows very clearly how this the strangers turn up among the people who have just come out from the Passover service. The message of these leaflets is quite threatening. They basically say that Jews, because of their support for the government in Kiev, have to register, pay a tax or leave. The le now the letter is signed um, by, allegedly signed by the uh, People's Republic of Donetsk, that the, that's the pro-Russian separatist group. But um, today uh, the group has denied having anything to do with the latter. They said that it's a provocation aimed at undermining them and uh, creating stirring trouble. But as we've been talking to the members of the Jewish community today, to the rabbi who called on Ukrainian forces for, for protection for the community, and all of them were saying it doesn't really matter who is behind this letter. What matters is the fact that someone has felt confident enough to write it and to distribute it. And that is one of many signs of the quite dangerous power vacuum that is being created by this struggle be between Ukrainian and pro-Russian forces here. Yes, it's an illustration, isn't it, of the tensions and of the claims and counterclaims that are bound to exist in this kind of atmosphere. Absolutely, and as a result, the minority groups here and um, you know, Jewish minorities, a very good example, are feeling uh, very vulnerable, very fragile, and quite a few of them are feeling very frightened.